Hey everyone, it is me again. I uh, showed a video, I think, of this robot already, but I am now going to uh, have my voice talk about it. So this was um, probably, I'm going back and remembering, I think this was the first class in my rigging class. And what we're doing in this is learning hierarchies. So I can manipulate this guy and uh, move his fingers oh no what has happened never mind guys never mind how sad what happened let's try this side no What? Uh, guys, I don't know what happened. This is um supposed to be rotated at an angle, and it's not. Why are you not rotated? Well, it does show a forty-five degree rotate. Why? It's boggling my mind. So this group is for some reason not rotated. Let me open up another one and see if it's also bugging out. Uh... Don't save. Okay, let me try this guy. No, what is wrong? Okay, so let's, um, let me open up. Let me open up the last one I had open because it's like the, the latest one. Let's save. Man, I don't know if I have a setting. I swear. By the moon and the stars. In the sky. Right? Um, okay, so the thing about these fingers is they have a parent group that is supposed to be rotated and this one has crazy rotation stuff let me freeze the transform on that no you can't you, we don't want you to okay this one's crazy um oh probably because it's not zeroed out what if what is it so when i grab these geos they all have rotational uh what are these Guys, really? Zero. What? You, you, you. Okay, let's look at the parent. Parent's going crazy. Uh, okay, if we just rotate this one. No, but the... It's because I'm on object. Aha! Guys, this is why you need to always be working and learning and growing. So I was in object mode, and that ain't going to work. Uh, but watch, now it's just not going to want to do it anyway. E, object, do I have to go to each one? I don't know why this is doing this to me. Okay, you're going to do it now? Okay, now it's working. Okay, thanks for hanging in there. For those of you who stayed, uh, we got it working. But all of these things can can kind of flow together. This one I can bring back in. Uh, um, just bouncing all over the place because whatever object. Swing. Okay, this is doing the same. Great. So it was object. See, this is I have not been working on this guy for forever, and sometimes you just gotta relearn your stuff. But yeah, we can make his fingers go pick up stuff, and then this can operate and move around. And this is all just based on hierarchies. So this is. Uh, just the first thing that we really learned, setting up pivots. Weep, whoop. And then you get your little guy in here. You can look at his eyes. And go, hello. Same with his eyebrows. Wow, wow, wow. And then even these can rotate. Because mm -hmm. he is a robot. That's his little head, which is basically not meant to go that direction around that much. But... Um, yeah, and then we set up 
these to pivot really smoothly on that. And then using this, you could, you know, in theory, make this guy move around. Um, of course, this is just learning it because <clears throat> what you would want to do eventually is set up controllers so that an animator could actually use this to um, animate with instead of having to manipulate all these objects individually. But this is just kind of the intro, the intro bit. And using this, you can make it move and keep it all together, make it look like it's doing something special, right? So that's pretty cool. That was, uh, this was week one, learning how to do stuff. And I feel like I uh, learned a lot that, that week one. So let's, all right, cool. Hello. Sweet. So this is Mr. Robot for Hierarchy, and I will see you later. Thanks.